Oh, hey there. Are you in the mood for a palette cleanser video? Because I am too. <laughs> Coming at you after just now uh, posting my seven month on HRT update. And I've been so busy lately that those have been really the only kind of videos I've been uploading. And obviously those videos bring in people with some spicy opinions, very interesting opinions. And it's generally a more serious topic only because other people make it, honestly. I'm having a great time. You're the one that's upset. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's do a Hot Topic haul. So I finally had a little bit of extra money so I could buy some clothes recently, which has been really needed. Um, I've really been wanting more appropriate clothes for the summer, um, more uh, masculine or androgynous options and clothing. Um, and I just... Like, I'm in, in between sizes where I've, like, gained muscle, so I'll, I'm busting out of some of my clothes, but I'm still, like, I can't fit back into the old clothes that I had before I lost weight, so I'm just in, like, a mid-range where, and also I'm I'm at a point in the HRT where things are just, just different, just different, like, it's crazy, I haven't gained any actual significant weight in months and yet clothes are fitting more and more different uh it's cause, cause stuff's just moving around so um i finally felt like i think my weight is stable enough that i could get a few basics and um there was a big sale on the website and i had some money so i got some fun things too so let's start with tops and then do accessories and then bottoms because i also have to explain what happened with uh my journey trying to order pants online as someone who has body this morning because it did not go well. Um, let's start with tops. So, I got this shirt. This is by Pinku Cult. They have a couple of different um, designs that you can buy at Hot Topic. Here's the back. I could have gone a size down, and that probably would be more flattering, I will say, as a uh, early transition trans guy. Uh, things that fit a little tighter and kind of show off the muscles that you start to get and stuff. Um, look better than wearing baggy stuff that just like drowns you and makes you look like you're wearing your dad's t-shirt. <laughs> it makes you look even smaller than you probably are. You might not be. I'm only 5'5", five five, though. I don't know about you. Uh, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this design. I've really been wanting some more like cringy e-boy type of clothing. Um, I don't care that I'm about to be 27. <laughs> I want to live my toxic e-boy dreams. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy with this shirt. It matches my hair and my general aesthetic and everything, and I'd love to have a couple more. Uh, I almost got another one when I visited the store to do my exchanges, which I'll get into. Yeah, so, cool. So next up, I really wanted to get some stuff I could wear to work, so I got a really cool button-up. It has these amazing detached sleeves with straps. Let's see if I can... It's going to be hard for it to not be overexposed. I do apologize, but it is just a black shirt. It's got this really cool uh, detailing here. It is not the softest, but it's quite thin, so I should be able to wear it in the upcoming months. It's very hot where I live, so I was a little hesitant to get a long sleeve, but um, this material, it's, it's kind of stiffer, so I feel like it'll hold a rolled up sleeve pretty good if I wanted to roll it up to like here. Um, it's not detachable, but, uh, I don't think so. Is it? <gasps> I think it is. Yep, they're actually detachable. That's nuts! Okay, so I can have a short sleeve shirt, or I can just wear these sleeves by themselves. I do love a good... So there's shirtless sleeves and sleeveless shirts. Shirtless sleeves. I do love some shirtless sleeves. <laughs> but yeah, um, a big goal with this haul was to get a lot of clothes that I could wear to work. Uh, didn't go so well as it tends to not. So um, next I'll do the accessories. Um, I ordered a new snapback um, because I just, uh, I'm not happy with the old snapback that I have. I'm actually finally taking the tags off of everything that I have with. Ooh, it comes with a little to keep it but it's Tomi Junji Ito I got a Junji Ito hat and even though I ended up having to uh, return my original order of pants and shorts which I'll get into I they accidentally sent me two of these so I gave the other one to 
person that I've been seeing because this I actually thought he already had it because he has some Tomy stuff um, but I gave it to him so I feel like my hair does not look good in this right now but yeah I'm mostly a backwards cap guy anyways um, that's gay cool so I got that and then as far as accessories I got one other thing, which I will show you on my pants later, but I did have to get this Karomi belt. So, Karomi's my favorite Senryo character, unsurprisingly, um, and I have a lot of Karomi stuff. There's gonna be more coming, actually, but I, little body image hack if you struggle with, uh, especially like an eating disorder level of body image issues and body hyperfixation, belts like this are a savior. I bought a black one, um, I forgot where, I think just from Walmart or something. Um, but if it has a ton of grommets, it, um, you can't really, you would have to really pay attention. Uh, so basically I, especially with like working out really hard and dietary stuff, um, eating a lot for that, um, I bloat and then I deflate all the time and it's really easy to hyper-focus on which um, belt loop I'm fitting in the morning on a particular day, this basically makes that impossible. Just don't look, put your belt on, um, because especially if you've had a belt for a long time, sometimes, like, the ones you use, you can really tell which one it is, especially, like, a leather one, because it, like, bends and stuff and warps over time. This just eliminates all of that, like, body fixation, so, and also it was really cute. It was pretty cheap, too, with the sale. Most of the stuff I got was very affordable, except for the pants, which is why I decided to exchange them. So next up, I'm actually not going to do pants yet because I've got something in between those two. So I got two pairs of short alls, which are overalls but shorts, and I'll show you those now. Right, so first one is, as you can see, Kuromi. Um, it actually comes with these really cute chains too, a pastel pink one and a regular one. You can remove it and put it on whatever you want. It looks fairly sturdy. Um, it shouldn't break too fast. Um, it's a nice thin material. And basically, I have just learned, I'm also just wearing a comfortable sports bra underneath to just show you what it looks like, because uh, she's got her cute little, her little face. <laughs> um, I've learned that uh, overalls are like a really great body image hack that helps me not worry about like if my stomach's bloating or something like that. Um, help me not hyper fixate on like how my pants are fitting and stuff, because that's definitely the hardest thing for me. Um, and I just wanted some that were more comfortable for the summer. It was at this point in the haul that I realized that my guesses for what kind of sizes I fit were not super accurate. I definitely could have gotten a size or two down. There's a lot of space, especially particularly around my thighs. Like, this is pretty big on me, but not so much that it looks bad. It just looks like I got a baggy, comfortable fit more than anything. And, I mean, if I gain weight, it'll still fit so that's cool um very very good price uh on this with the sale um i almost put it back because i was like this is obviously not a necessity but for running around in the summer um especially like i said where i live it's very hot and it doesn't cool off until like uh late october sometimes thanks to global warming love that um having these will be really handy because i got another pair. I also got a rainbow pair. These were like really, really on sale. Um, they probably won't have these for super long, so definitely grab them if you're interested. Um, they're pretty much the same exact layout, but they've actually got rainbow stitching I'm seeing now, which is very cute. And obviously they've got this big rainbow pocket in the front. This is like now probably one of the gayest items of clothing I have, and that says a lot. It really does. Cool. So, now on to the pants. Let's let's get into the pants saga. So basically, I don't understand what I look like most of the time. We love body dysmorphia. Um, and I ordered a pair of tech wear pants that I was very excited about and a pair of shorts. Men's sizes in both, because I... Uh, enough of my body stuff has moved around that I can more comfortably fit men's pants and also just for gender reasons I just felt good ordering from the men's section. 
long story short, uh, I get them. And both of them would have been appropriate for me to wear at work, actually. The shorts are like longer men's shorts that come down to the knees. I pulled them out of the bag and I was like, oh. Long story short, what I thought my sizing was, considering what my sizing has been throughout my life, and what I see in the mirror, I ordered four sizes too big. So, <laughs> um, I was looking online and uh, I they were like, you can bring it to your nearest store, and I was like, cool. So, yesterday I went to Hot Topic, and I will say, they were very helpful. It was a pretty quick process, even with us figuring out that they have like a new system, and they were kind of having issues with figuring out what to do. And what we landed on is uh, putting the refund on a gift card, and uh, so I could shop around, and also if there was nothing there that I wanted because... They did not have either of the pieces that I wanted. Now, the Hot Topic that is in my city is pretty small, so I'm not super surprised. Sometimes they have a great selection, sometimes it kind of sucks. And it kind of sucked when I went, particularly for the men's section and also in general, um, the bottoms were kind of limited. So, I got a gift card, and I did some shopping while I was there, and I did find two things that I wanted. I still have $30 left on my gift card though, and I also earned more hot cash, so I plan on reordering the shorts specifically, maybe probably the pants too, because I couldn't find really any tech wear pants. What I did find was a pair of wide-legged, first wide-legged jeans I've had in a long time, uh, men's pants that have these cool belts around them. It's technically denim, so I'm not sure if I can wear it to work. I think we're allowed to wear black denim now. I need to check. And then I got a asymmetrically cut skirt. I have a lot of skirts like this that I've made myself, but because I kind of destroyed them myself, they degrade over time. And I thought having one that was just made like this would be really convenient and easy. And also in a slightly bigger size uh, to just allow for more flexibility. So, yeah. I will get back into my cute uh, pinku shirt and try them on for you. Here is the pants with the curly belt as well. Yep, yeah, it's got these cool little strappy guys. With the way the waist sits, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure these are men's, but I'm also not 100% convinced. But they were in the men's section, and they had men's sizings. These were 28 by 32. They're a little bit long on me, but uh, I wear shoes with a bit of the heel most of the time anyways. So, yeah. I feel like... They're very flattering in the hip and waist area in not a super feminine way necessarily, but yeah. For some reason, I just, I really thought I had a 36-inch uh, waist. I, um, I do not. <laughs> Goop. Body dysmorphia be like. And here's the skirt. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Super cute. I think it's just long enough for me to wear to work. Um, it's got a zipper. It's not super stretchy, so I would definitely get it in, uh, you know. A lot of my skirts like this are very stretchy, so I don't have to worry about really, like, how I fit into them. This isn't stretch. Um, it's very soft. It's very comfortable. Um, this is from their Cosmic Aura line, which is, like, a whole, like, mystical thing they have with, like, jewelry and clothes. They have a lot of, like, little velvet, uh, tiny crop tops and stuff. Very, um very the craft type of clothes. It's it's super cute, um, and this is from that line, but yeah. So I'm wearing my tatty boxers underneath, as you do, but um, I've been getting more comfortable with wearing skirts and dresses at work, um, even with my leg hair and stuff, um, which has been fine so far. Um, I have gotten a lot of stares and a few comments, but nothing uh, too scary or anything, um, you know, it all comes with a risk, but, um, I only do it a couple times a week, uh, just to ease back into it, um, 
and I've been enjoying um, expressing myself uh, in a more masculine way anyways. Um, but yeah, been slowly bringing back the femme side of the wardrobe too. Um, I am bummed that I didn't get to those shorts. I think the, those would have been a really nice touch. Uh, one thing I've been running into is there are some days where it's just really hot, but I don't necessarily want to dress femme, and I just don't have any like work-appropriate shorts currently. So I'm going to wait for my hot cash to activate, maybe. I might be impatient and go ahead and order some men's shorts from them. Another big thing was, you know, Hot Topic is technically a, a, in junior sizing, which is also why I aimed high for a lot of the things that I ordered, but I ended up taking my measurements a couple days after I ordered, which was not smart, and I realized that I was probably off the mark. I was a lot more off the mark than I was, so it's best to measure beforehand. Don't, don't assume, especially if you're like me and you have no concept of what you look like anyways. Um, is there anything else? No, they were very helpful at Hot Topic with helping me figure out getting everything returned and everything. Um, I accidentally like dropped my one, the pair of shorts on the floor and I noticed like literally when I got to the Hot Topic that there was a bunch of fucking cat hair on the shorts. I felt really bad about it, um, but she still took them anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you have a beautiful day. Um, I hope maybe this gave you some inspo. It's just a few, a few fun little pieces here and there, but you know, yeah. It, and if you don't have, uh, time to treat yourself to some clothes right now, I get it. I didn't for a long time. So, um, yeah. If I get any other cool stuff anytime soon, I'll let you know, because I do want to slowly rebuild my wardrobe. And I will also let you know whenever I set up a deep pop because I have a ton of stuff that I need to resell. Um, some of it is some really great like barely worn trip PVC stuff and things like that. Um, some really nice things that could really use a good home. So yeah, if you like my style, I will keep you updated. I would, I will definitely post on like Facebook and Instagram as well. On Instagram, it is, uh, Heldrick underscore 777, I believe. Um, and that's where you can find me on most places. It's either that or Heldrick Leviathan. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you have a great day.